So welcome back to Air Creation. So all are doing great. So today we're going to talk about the issue with regards to the real tech Wi-Fi or wireless driver getting disappeared like every 15 minutes or 20 minutes. So let's see how to fix this issue. So the first check that you can do is Windows key plus R, go to the run command, type control, which takes us to the control panel. Click on system and security. Then click on power options. In the power options, you can see balanced or recommended and click on change plan settings. You can have an option called change advanced power setting. Go to the wireless adapter settings, power saving mode. So you have to make sure that on battery as well as in plugged in, the maximum performance option has to be checked. Again, go back to the USB settings, USB selective suspend settings. On battery as well as in plugged in, you have to make sure that it is disabled. If it's enabled, then it will uh, turn off your Wi-Fi adapter. Okay. So after that, click on OK. Close this. So the next thing that you have to do here is you can go to the connections which you have. So I have niche connected. So click on properties over here. So the default option which is given in your Wi-Fi settings will be public. So change the network profile from public to private. Okay, so if you're changing the network profile from public to private, it 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 comes under the trusted networks. So that the the computer won't shut off the Wi-Fi adapter. Like every twenty minutes, if it sees that there is any threats, and uh, you can also go to CMD check whether. The network is working after that. So you can get the replay from the website called www.google.com. And you can also go back to CMD. You can see the connected network, which is the default gateway is this. You can also do an FFC scan to see there with it. So, guys, you have to start the CMT in administrator mode. So click on CMT, run as administrator. So in the CMD, you can type SFC scan now. So it will start the scan. So once the scan is over, it will, so it says so there is system repair pending, which requires reboot to complete. So restart windows and run SFC scan again. So there is a reboot, which is pending. So I'm gonna reboot my system. Click on shutdown slash R, which will reboot my system. So my system is back from rebooting and you can see the Wi-Fi is blinking here. So even if I disconnect the Wi-Fi and if I'm reconnecting it back, the Wi-Fi is perfectly working fine. So it won't shut off the Wi-Fi because we have changed the network profile from public to private. And we also made changes to the power settings for the Wi-Fi. And if you're going to the device management section also, you can see the Wi-Fi driver is working fine. There's another thing that you can do. You can go to services.mc. So 
So in this type VLAN, this is the command, this is a service which is run, run for uh, making sure your Wi-Fi is working perfectly. So the start type should be always on automatic. If, if it's selected as manual, then change it to automatic and the service status should be running. If it's not running, then you will get an error message stating port 10. So always make sure this service is running. Okay, hope you like this video. If you are not able to fix your Wi-Fi issues with these methods, kindly post comments on this particular video so that I can come up with a differential method for fixing the wireless issues for you. So if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Have a great day. Stay safe.